2005 through 2010 Scion TC with the manual transmission, driver side axle replacement. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you through the steps of replacing that axle. So you need to get your vehicle up in the air if you're doing this in the shop or floor jacks and jack stands if you're doing it at the home and make sure the suspension is hanging and remove the driver side front wheel. Now we need to remove the axle nut. On mine, it's a 30 millimeter 12 point socket that you need to use. If yours has been changed, it may be different. I'm gonna use my Milwaukee half inch drive cordless impact gun here. If you guys haven't seen this, I recommend you check it out. I'll leave a link for it in the description of the video. This thing rocks. Now that the axle is nuts off, you can push it through like this. And then we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna remove the ball joint. So we're gonna remove the three bolt. You'll need a 17 millimeter socket. And once again, I'm going to use my Milwaukee Impact Gun to make quick work of this. Now you're going to need a long pry bar, and you're going to hook it in the control on the lower control arm like this, and, and uh, you're going to pry down until the ball joint is free from the lower control arm, and pull the spindle outwards. The same time you're pulling the spindle out, you want to push the axle through the hub right here. And as you can see, I pulled it out like that, and at the same time. I push that axle through and then it'll pop out. Since I'm working by myself with this job, I used a tie strap and hooked it onto the, the caliper and ratcheted it back. That way I got a, a straight shot. I'm gonna go underneath the car and looking upwards towards the transmission, I'm gonna put my pry bar on the inside of where the axle goes into the transmission and hook it on there and I'll give it a little pry and that should pop the axle out of the transmission. And you may also want to reach around with your hand and pull at the same time as you're prying with the pry bar to pop the axle out. I actually found it easier to come from the front of the control arm right here. There's a little bit more room to get your pry bar in here and then hook it on the axle and pry out. And also once you get it popped out, some gear oil is going to drain out. So you want to have a bucket ready to catch it. You always want to match up your replacement axle with your old one. I will leave a link in the description of the video for the axle in case you guys need to pick that up. Now we're gonna take this into the axle and stab it into the transmission. And we're gonna be careful not to make contact with the lip on the seal. So you wanna go straight in the middle as you stab it in. Okay, as you're stabbing the axle back into the transmission, if you turn it left and right, twisting it, you'll feel the teeth engage into the transmission. Then you're gonna push it in as tight as you can, push the joint together. And then you'll strike the end of it with a rubber mallet. And then what I like to do is put the nut back on the end of the uh, axle and screw it on. When you go to hit the axle with the mallet, it doesn't mar up the end of the axle or damage the threads. Also, you want to have the axle as straight as possible when you drive it in with the mallet. Try not to have it cocked at an angle when you drive it in. Just a couple light taps on the end of the axle should drive the axle back into the transmission and you'll feel it engage and want to double check that it's fully flush like this. Also, if your axle has been leaking like mine, you want to give it a, a good wipe, thorough wipe down or use like a steam cleaner or a pressure washer. That works really well too. Now we're going to stab the axle back into the spindle. But before we do that, what I like to do is use a little bit of blue thread locker and put it on the uh, bolts and studs where the uh, ball joint goes through the control arm. And this is like a little glue that you put on the threads to help prevent the uh, bolts and, and nuts from vibrating loose. And we use the brand Permatex. I'll leave a link in the description for this. Installing the blue thread locker next, we're gonna stab the axle through and start the nut. And then once we got the nut started, we're gonna pry the lower control arm down and line up the bolts through the uh, lower control arm. After running the ball joint, bolts back in so they're snug, you want to torque them down to 66 foot-pounds. Next, you want to tighten the axle nut and you want to torque it down to 160 foot-pounds. And the way I did that was I had somebody jump in the car, start the engine, and hold the brake pedal while I torque the axle nut down. After you torque the axle nut down, what you want to do is use a punch and ping in the axle nut in this little groove in the axle. And what that does is prevent the axle from backing back off. Now that the axle nut is torqued, we need to refill the transmission because we lost a little bit of fluid. So what we're going to do on the front right here is we're going to remove this plug on the side of the transmission. 
Then you're going to pump in a little bit of 7590 gear oil and you're going to pump it in until a little bit a little small stream overflows out of the hole. I will leave a link in the description of the video for the gear oil that way if you guys need to pick that up you can get that. Once the gear oil is dripping out like this that means it's full then you can go ahead and put the bolt back on and tighten it up. Now that that's done you can go ahead and rebolt up your wheel and torque it down to 76 foot pounds and that'll complete the job of replacing the driver side axle on a 2005 through 2010 Scion TC with the manual transmission. I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. Invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. And also to remind you that I will link up all the parts and tools that I use in this video. And I'd like to thank you again for watching.